morning all from the banks of the beautiful Dordogne. Um, we left Lords yesterday. It's been a crazy, crazy place really. Um, blew our minds a little bit. Worth going to uh, and I'd, I recommend it to people. Um, but yeah, uh, it, it is an odd place. Um, but we've moved on to this, which is that's a stunning location for a campsite. Bit of a dichotomy really, because you've got this lovely riverside location. I've just noticed the swans over there. It's beautiful. Um, there is quite a noisy road at the back. It doesn't bother us, but I know it would some people. Um, so you can see the road runs at the back there. But also, well, the great thing is there's a cycle route here which runs all the way along the river, which I'm going to do today. Uh, and hopefully share that with you. Um, this is what I would describe as a rustic um, French campsite. It's, uh, I would say we love it. We, this is the kind of place we love. I don't know if I'd want to be here in the middle of summer when it was very busy um, because the facilities are quite small, um, which I'm going to quickly show you now. But uh, it, it, yeah, we, we love these kind of places. Um, oh, here's Mrs. Green, I've just finished the washing. There she goes. And this is, this is our toilet and shower block. Let me show you it. This is it here. Um, it's, it's certainly well air conditioned. Um, yeah, sinks there. There's three toilets down to the right there where the red doors are. These are the urinals I won't show you inside. That would be a, probably a step too far. Um, washing facilities. I don't know if you can see in there, that's the showers. They're, I mean, they're very nice and warm, but then if you look up, you think, oh, very interesting. Um, so, this is really it. Oh, there's, there's the sink sound. Lavabo. Um, and then around here, you've got some laundry. They're not open, that side. And then a um, washing machine, which we're using at the moment. A grand total of five euros. So that's what we mean when we talk about a, a rustic um, campsite. I think a lot of people's expectations now are greater than this. Uh, they want heated floors and massive shower rooms and toilet blocks. And we've just come from that at Lords. Um, nice, but probably not us. I mean, we like it here because you've got like walkers coming by and cyclists coming by camping for the night. And the cycleways just up where that European flag is, just up there. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do that this afternoon, um, taking it easy today, and then we're going to walk, I think probably about 30k tomorrow, our weather for Saturday, which is two days away, is forecast to be a bit, a bit wet, so we're going to use that as a travel day, not sure where we're going yet, but we're going to use that as a travel day. Okay, probably catch up with you a little bit later. Good morning everybody, are you find us enjoying a lovely walk along the Voivert? Um, on the Dordogne. Um, we're just coming into a beautiful little village called Karsak Eliak. I cycled along here yesterday, couldn't help but notice this place. That's the, obviously the Dordogne has cut over millions of years into the surrounding stone. But we thought we'd walk on the Voivert which is here um, and then we're going to take a little detour into the village. It looks just so lovely. Um, that wisteria over there. It's just a brilliant time to be here, spring, very pleasant. through the walk we're at Karsak Eilak something like that beautiful little village um, quite close to the Dordogne 
We've had our usual lunch of bread and cheese. Yes. Well, French bread and cheese. <laughs> and our cheese. bananas are waiting there. Look, there, the bananas are waiting. But something might have oh, hit them to the post. So happy that we've got this. So so happy. Do you want to unveil, Kerry? Yep. All those different languages. Yeah. Lots of different languages. Really interesting what's inside. Look at that. Oh. oh. Tart citron. Um, looks pretty good. I'm so looking forward to that. What we have also noticed here is um, there's an air. It's really well, special little, little air um, with this picnic site next to it with an exercise area. The air though is not free and open. It's uh, You need a card um, which I think you buy online. I'm not quite sure. We're going to go have a look at it because it is a lovely spot if we ever come back because there's bars and restaurants and everything here that's all you need and it's all just a little walk away. Um, yeah, so quite special this. It is. Yeah, it's lovely. So we're just going to go and enjoy our tart. <laughs> Hi all and um, a welcome back I suppose is a good one to say because we haven't videoed for oh, quite a few days. Um, maybe three? Maybe four. Um, when we left you were at the Dordogne um, and we were looking at that camping car site, in fact which we did stay at for a night. Um, we went some supermarket shopping, um, took us two hours to travel, like, like ten minutes or whatever it was, we went on a really convoluted way. But anyway, we stayed there a night, really nice place. Um, so we thought, well, well, we'll we'll use that site again. So we've moved now to um, this lovely site next to a lake, a little bit further north. Um, another camping car site. Um, and we've been here three days? Yeah. So first day we cycled, oh, you know, we, we walked around the lake, 25k. That's really nice. Which is over there, look, the lake. And this is the site. And then today I've cycled around the same route. Great gravel track. Yeah, really good. Enjoyed it a lot. Um, and we're planning to leave tomorrow. We booked for four nights, but we're only going to stay for three. It's only like 11 euros a night. Um, and we're going to move on further north towards the Loire Valley. The plan is to stay there for a couple of nights at the campsite, some washing done and stuff, and then we're going to go hopefully to a vineyard um, and enjoy that. So as you can see, this is a busy place. Um, there's a lot of people using these sites. Most of them, I would say, are transient and just using it for a night. A few are not. Um, so it is quite nice. It's Lac saint Pardou, as you can see there. Um, yeah, it's well worth the visit actually. Massive um, swimming pool down here as well, which I believe you get discounted on uh, entry rates if you're, you've got your card with you. So, nice place. Would recommend it if you're driving down south on this route um, through Limousin. <laughs> Not Limousin. Um, yeah, Limousin, yeah. Um, Limoges, sorry, not Limoges, Limoges. Limoges. Um, this is a great place to stop. Um, I cycled off to the boulangerie this morning, two and a half miles there and back, lovely boulangerie. Yeah, I really recommend it. Um, so yeah, we'll catch up with you probably again tomorrow when we're hopefully in the Loire Valley. Beautiful evening, this is the river. Um, campsites, ah, it's lovely, it's just, there's no real set. Um, configuration. It's just camp where you like, really. Um, it's very nice. Um, so, yeah, down to the riverside, which is down here, and there's the air balloons. Yeah, lovely. They're really still evening, so they're just basically, we, when we were a bit naive, we were just watching, drinking, and saying, oh, they're just going up and down, must be on a string, but I think it's just because the, the air's so still. They're just enjoying themselves going up and down. It's lovely. Um, and here's the river. So there's another campsite on the other side. Um, both are meant to be very good, and this one is, so that one must be as well, I guess. Um, yeah, we drove over this morning, um, had a relaxing day. Um, 
I do like the Loire area, it's lovely. Um, and we're looking forward to spending a couple of days here. There's a chateau we're going to go and have a look at um, a bit further down the river. Uh, and then we're going to move on to uh, hopefully a winery on Friday, um, which we'll share with you too. Just one last look at those balloons. Oh. I can watch these all day. So those two have now gone overhead, completely overhead. Look, wow. Isn't that amazing? So, it must be such a lovely feeling. I know you'd hate it, Kerry, but oh, it must be amazing. And that one, because those have gone a bit higher, I guess that's why they're moving. And this one's lower, so it's not moving, it's just going up and down. Whereas those two have picked up a bit of the wind and have just moved on. I don't know where they're going to land. I guess that's part of the challenge. Sorry, I'm, I've, I've taken so, did so much footage, but it's just it's just quite enthralling. I do love it. Are you there? Oh yes, you yes, are. I am. <laughs> <laughs> I am right by your side as always. Uh, oh, always. Um, just a little <laughs> um, update. We're at Mont Richard. Mont Richard, yes. Because um, I did update you earlier about moving from. Oh, what was that place called? It is just ridiculous. Um, Black Saint Pardieu. Well done. Um, so we had three nights there? Four nights there. Uh, and we came, it became increasingly obvious to us there's two reasons we wanted to move on. The one I'm going to mention first is about the dog, not, not, oh, not right. nothing else. Um, and we found that she got absolutely covered in ticks and we had ticks actually crawling on the floor on the inside <laughs> of the van. We got very, very conscious about it and a bit, bit, a bit, but yeah, didn't feel very comfortable. No. Um, and it wasn't fair on her either. So that's one of the reasons we moved. So if you do stay there, just be aware if you've got dogs, it, it does At seem to have a lot. certain times of yeah. the year though. Certainly they? spring ticks, yeah. yeah. And the second reason, which I'm not going to go into too much detail, is, um, if there are public toilets, we tend to try and use them. Um, not, not, again, not going into too much detail. And there were these um, electronic-type toilets. Space-age ones. Um, which we were using. And, um, well, we tro well, we had a go at it. Yeah, then I was outside and Kerry went inside and locked herself in the booth. Um, and all I could hear was cries of despair from inside. Um, I'm not going to describe what happened. It wasn't lovely by any means. Anyway, it made Kerry very frustrated, refused to go for them anymore. So another reason we moved on is we had a bit of uh, an issue around the toilet. So um, and that's why we're here. Now, anyway, all that all said, we're now going off to have a look at the chateau at, um, it's not actually at Mont Richard, is it? It's just down the way, we can't pronounce it. So we'll probably take a, a photo of it and uh, of the name, I mean, so that we can show you what it is. But it's meant to be stunning. So we're looking forward to that. But before that, Kerry's just gonna drop off a plastic milk carton at the bin. Um, this is um, at the, um, recycling. It's very nice, the Moulin Fort. We had a um, couple of drinks last night in the bar. All the gin and tonic each, and ooh, not sure I'd recommend French gin and tonic. It's very peculiar. Um, very, very, very bitter. Um, but yeah, it's lovely. So there's a that's the old mill, and there's a for some bizarre reason. There's a camera museum which is free to enter behind and crazy golf and there's also a swimming pool um, so yeah it's really nice uh, and not busy and it's how we like it um, so we've really enjoyed it here for our second day and we're going to move on tomorrow the 
in France, I must say, there's a lot of recycling bins, so you can recycle a lot of things, paper. Oh no, they've got it sorted. They've um, definitely plastic, got it sorted. Yeah, yeah, they've, they've glass, everything. Everywhere you go, they've got them. I'm just hoping that they actually get recycled. Oh, well, they, I, they're more likely to hear. I would imagine. Well, I don't know why I say that. Uh, I just know what happens in the UK, having been in the fire service for 30 years and been to a number of. Uh, Recycling centre fires. Anyway, we completely digress from what I was talking about. No, mind. I had just gone to put my oh, bottle yes. in the recycling. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. So it's relevant to me. Okay. Um, indeed it is, yes. Mock orange. Yeah, anyway, shall we crack on? So this is Chateau Shinan Show. I've been, we've been practicing that pronunciation. Um, I think a fortified bridge. There is a there's a drawbridge at one side, um, lots of gardens over the other side, which um, we can, we assume you can only buy a ticket from the other side of the river. And of course we've got Isla, so um, it's unlikely that we can go in. But it's lovely, and we might come back when it's lit in the evening time because I think it would be even more impressive. And Kerry's got some interesting oh no Kerry hasn't got some interesting facts <laughs> she just shook her head at me I was just going to say it's near the river Cher yeah as in Sunny and the Cher. small village of Chinonso yeah in the Loire Valley best known chateau of the Loire Valley. Valley first mentioned writing in the 11th century, century. well we could be repeating ourselves yes <laughs> sorry <laughs> so yeah that's it chateau Chate chateau Chinonso <laughs> And it's got drawbridges on either end. I've, I've already mentioned oh, that. Oh, sorry. So we don't need to go into that history I lesson. Didn't, I wasn't here when you started. <laughs> I've also mentioned about the gardens, and we can't get tickets on this side, and probably can't anyway because of either. This is a tributary of the Loire. The river, what is it again? Cher. Okay. We're going to wander into... Um, what's the village called? Chinon. No, no, the village. It's, it's near the village of no, Chinon. No, 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 it's not the village of Chinon. It's near the village of... What's the one we're going to? The one that we're near next to. I mentioned it this morning. But what's it called? Oh no, it's called. <laughs> what was it called? Can't remember. No. <laughs> I'll, I'll update you when we get there. And I'll have looked at what it's called. I, I can't believe I've forgotten. So anyway, I can. I can believe totally. <laughs> one more look at Chateau Chinon, so, and I've probably pronounced that five different times. Looks like it's going to rain. Well, that's very positive. We're at. Le Garde de Loire, having travelled yesterday from, where did we go? come from? Oh, um, Moulin Fort, something like, yes, um, and we're now staying at a France Passion site, very similar to the Agri Italia sites we were staying at, this one is a vineyard next to the Loire, uh, that's where our van is, um, free site, Toilet and shower in there, electricity if you want it, water. Um, there's a farmer's market here this evening, which we're hoping is going to be good. And then we're going to have a tasting tomorrow. Um, there's also a gîte over there where the mill is. Yeah, it's very pleasant. And it's called Domaine des Deux Moulins. Oui, oui. We are here. Vous we know, et ici. We actually know where we are. Yeah, so we're going to go on a couple of small walks. Go to the supermarket. Oh, the supermarket, that's overstretching it a bit. Uh, we're going to the shop in the town, in the village, and then uh, see what the farmer's market's like. Yeah. Yep. Um, so we're going to walk down to Loire um, have a look at that. So this is the Loire. Interesting fact about the Loire, Kerry. It's the longest river in France. <laughs> it is, yes it is. It's not the widest or the deepest, which is... The Rhone. Correct. Oh, what the hell is that thing on my leg? Some bug. Um, but yes, this is the, the Loire, the fabled Loire. It's, it's much bigger than I thought it was going to be. Um, yeah, it's lovely, but it's, it's very river-like, I suppose. Uh, we have a dog. It might go in the water. Oh, that might be a bit deep for Isla. Oh my word, she's swimming. My goodness me. <laughs> it's a miracle. Well done, Isla. You don't do that, do you? <laughs> not coming to do that again. Are you going to do it again? No, I'm not sure I am. Come on, Isla. Oh, yes. Ooh. 
<laughs> bit of a panic, a bit of a panic. <laughs> She's not good out of a death. <laughs> I'm surprised she went back in after that canal episode. Um, on, go again. Come on, come no, on. that's it. No, I'm not going that deep. Too deep. Too deep. No, I've had enough. I'm not, I'm not a fable spaniel swimmer. Anyway, so that's the Loire. Uh, it's lovely. Um, there's a cormorant over there, I think, on that bank. Yeah. I think it is. Whether anybody else could see is another matter. There is a boat making a lot of noise over there. Um, Anyway, enough said, I think, really, about the Loire. One wet dog. Um, well, Mike dashed in because he wanted to be one of the first. Because <laughs> he thought everything would go really fair, quickly. It's only vegetables, bread and wine. So it's not much of a farmer's market, but it's lovely. So, and we thought we'd just show you the produce we bought. Yeah, yeah, it was very nice. Uh, we did buy some bananas, but we didn't think they were... <laughs> I don't they know don't, where they've come from well, in They've France. certainly not come from France. So, But this is what we've got. We've got a nice loaf of bread from a local boulangerie. Some radishes to chew on, <laughs> mushrooms, and a nice bottle More of cremant, which we'll finish this evening. More importantly, absolutely. So very happy, very happy. Yeah, very nice. So, and a bit of wine tasting tomorrow. Perfect. Of all the campsites we've been to, this is the best by far. It's just lovely. So let me just show you down. These are the grass pitches you've got all the way around it's really really rather lovely um i think it's cost something like 40 44 euros for three nights um we found it on search for sites a rave review so i can't be that good but it is and the lady who looks after it is, uh, takes great pride in it so it's a beautiful site um it has Extremely clean facilities, which are um, over here. Bonjour. Um, so there's obviously toilets, might be very clean, lovely hot showers, um, chemical disposal, everything you need. And the great thing about it is it's in this, let's say, this town called. Argentan, which is lovely, it's um, boulangerie, patisserie, everything you need here. Um, but the really great thing about it is it's attached to, it's a municipal site, it's attached to um, this lovely little museum. And behind here is a lake, really lovely. I'll quickly go down because it is so good. Um, look at the flowers, aren't they lovely? Spring flowers, tulips. It's kept so well, the whole place is just kept so well. So we've been here, let's say, three days. We spent yesterday and the day before just walking because we've got to get the distance in for the Lake District Challenge. So we did 15 miles on Sunday and 15 miles on Monday. Monday was Labor Day here in France, so it's a bank holiday. They had uh, music in the park, um, some political kind of demonstrations, I think, and stuff. Um, so here's the lake. Um, there's a kiosk over there which serves crepes, alcohol and coffee and all the all the locals just come and fish on the lake which is just lovely. Um, right, you find us at Ley Andalay? Yep. Um, on the, there's Kerry, on the River Seine. Um, yep. Um, we haven't done a huge amount of videoing. Um, we've been traveling quite a bit and sort of a bit tired but anyway we're, we're now here um, having spent the morning at Monet's garden at Givenay. Givenay? Yep. Uh, Kerry went round, I didn't. Uh, a word for the, the, the not so wise. Um, what's the word for not so wise? Go at half nine in the morning <laughs> or you're going to be fighting with the crowds yeah. on small paths People going both directions, taking loads of photographs, because you're only allowed to take, you're only allowed to follow um, the paths around the site that um, the public are allowed to go on. So I'm absolutely shattered, and I was only there for about 45 minutes. I know, I was shocked. It was only really. It was too much for me. It was just too busy. It was very busy. I just stayed outside and ate chocolate biscuits. 
um, with Isla throwing the ball for her, which I quite enjoyed. Um, the gardens, though, are beautiful. Yeah. And yeah. the lily pond is amazing. So we're now just um, bimbling around, really, because we've got Isla's um, worming tablet to be um, administered, administered tomorrow, tomorrow by the vet. Um, and then we are then contemplating whether we go back Monday or whether we bring that forward and go back Sunday, because Monday is Armistice Day in Europe. Yeah. in France so they have a bank holiday and like last week on a Monday the bank holidays in France everything just closes um, so we'll be kind of treading anyway we'll, we'll, we'll see I'll, if we if the worming tablet works tomorrow we've then got five days to go back across the UK so we could go Sunday yes. um, because the plan then is to go to London to see the kids and then back to family and then back home so um, yeah that's the view from here. I mean, the reason, one of the reasons we came here is because of that. So we're going to have a bit of a hike up, have a look at the, the village and then have a hike up and have a look at that. Um, so we may share some views of that, um, but we are conscious that's all we ever do. Um, you never know, we might come <laughs> across something that's different. We may, you never know. Um, let's go and see. Yeah. I hope you can hear me over the wind. Castle, what was it, Kevin? You get me, remember? Or sh uh, Chateau. Yeah. Well, no, 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 no. Oh no, Chateau Guilliard. Um, it is very windy up here, but we were surprised we were at the bottom that actually it was built by Richard the Lionheart, defender of Normandy from the French conquerors. <laughs> um, uh, after his death, it was besieged and taken back by the French. Um, and then it suffered a number of more sieges over the Hundred Year War. Four. Four more, was it? Yep. Um, so obviously swapped hands over and over again. But it's weird to be uh, in France, next to the Seine, and be walking around a castle that was built by the British. Uh, Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> oh, this is our last day in Europe. In France? Well, in Europe. Yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, where are we? Mon Montreal. Montreal, yes, which is um, just below... A town. I can't well, oh. This is not why well, change the habit of a lifetime. Um, it's an old town that used to be next to the sea, Roman origins. The seas retreated, um, so we're going to have a quick look round. Lovely campsite. Day of the second night tonight, and then we're off to the tunnel tomorrow. And what did you find out about Haig, General Haig? Oh yeah, he had his um, his headquarters, spookily, a long way from the um, the Western Front, probably about fifty miles. Um, in a chateau yeah. just outside the town. But I don't know where the chateau is, but um, it's just outside the town somewhere. Um, so yeah, great Haig, one of the master military ta ta tacticians of all time. I'm just getting pointed out because I'm trying to do two things at once. And you um, don't need to. Anyway, let's go and have a look at the town. Ooh, le tart, madame. De tart au citron. Oh, de. De. Oh, magnifique. <laughs> <laughs> this is a lovely little place, isn't it? It really is lovely. Oh, have a 